we want to encourage each other uh, both from our allies and from each other as, as females here at Ring Central, um, by uplifting, right, and bringing people into larger projects, making a bigger impact across the organization. And ultimately, while we're doing it, we, what we do best, right, celebrate each other. We need that seat at the table. We need to be in the room where it happens. And if we don't ask for that seat, it probably won't be given to us. So we need to use our voice in. Do we get to the table uh, when women do have presence? Um, they they are usually, uh, they take action. Uh, they take responsibility uh, and um, they care for others. Uh, and there have been so many studies that have shown that having women on teams make teams more effective. Uh, it's when you have to make these conscious choices uh, throughout uh, every every step of the journey uh, to to uplift uh, it doesn't doesn't happen by itself uh, and those of us who were uh, I guess fortunate enough to be the only woman in the room at some point uh, in our lives and I and I blogged about it um, I shared that um, and uh, had to travel the journey we have to support and make it easier today for uh, uh, for women who uh, are young uh, and who are early in their careers. And uh, that encouragement, uh, that uplift that we can provide uh, is essential because it's it's what Muyan said, it's, it's how you show, being your best self, being your confidence with you. Uh, don't let the fact that you wear a skirt uh, hold you back in any way. These are the types of things that we want, you know, to, to be amplified. So the best way I know is to be that light that we want to see and to help brighten that light that already exists. Again, do not give up your first and second best money-making ideas to anybody else, okay? Hold on to that. But the bottom tier that you know will be, you know, a, that that could propel something, go ahead and pass it on to somebody else, see how that works. And hopefully in, in time, if you've got a, an environment that has a little bit ju of just and reasonableness in it, um, that you know they will soon turn to you. If there's a point I feel very, very strongly on, and I know I'm gonna need to speak up about, but there's a chance that it might be perceived, because perception is reality, as my getting emotional. I will rehearse it. And normally I'll have a friend, like I'll find Kira in the office and I can rehearse it with her, or I'll find, it can be a male colleague too, but like I'll say, I don't wanna come across as emotional. I feel strongly about this. This is the right way forward. Like practice makes perfect, actually practice it. If you can't find a friend or phone a friend, do it in front of the mirror. I've done that as well. It's really helpful. Um, the other thing I would say is stick to facts. That way it never seems personal. Be very, very fact-based in the discussion. That helps a lot. It's hard for people to call facts emotional. Do the best you can. We've talked about a lot of things and we seem very affirmative in a lot of the things we've shared. But of some of these things that we, you know, these affirmations did not necessarily come in real time. You know, they have been, there have been afterthoughts, you know, you know, uh, you know, some of them, you know, did came out wrong in real time. But we are built for the long game, right? The long, um, and this is what, you know, and, and this is what this hour, uh, you know, has to reveal. Yes, we've said some things and this is what, you know, this, these are my experiences. But the road is not straight. You know, the terrain, you know, is not smooth. Embrace that. Again, it is not about being perfect. It is about being effective and about being true to you.